Hello everybody, you're here with Claro Beauty with your host Claudia Lara. Thank you very much for tuning in. Today I'm very excited because, um, well, I don't know about you with this Black uh, Friday event, sales events, and what is it, Cyber Monday. I don't remember being this crazy. How do you feel about it? I mean, I seen sales everywhere. So I was not prepared, I guess, in my research to take advantage of all of these sales. <laughs> so I have bought here and there. I have taken some advantage of it um, and they already started coming in. So uh, let me know how you're doing with this, all these sales. I mean, I'm not even thinking about Christmas yet. I guess I'm gonna have to speed it up and think about it because this would have been a great opportunity to buy all the gifts. Um, but no, I was not prepared. This year has gone so fast and, uh, and we'll see what happens next. However, I did get several things that are new. I think in this case, we're only gonna use one, which is um, because I'll tell you what I wanna do. So today I received, well, no, not today, a few days ago, I received, I only bought from Refer, um, this brand, um, R-E-P-H-R, -E let me show it to you, Refer, makes brushes, apparently from Japan, um, and natural hairs, and they are very well done. And so what they do is they give excellent prices, and sometimes they ask for you to give a, a review on the brushes uh, in order to get that price. Uh, but it's been open to the public, and I guess because of the sale, it was 50% off. They have several bundles, and what I decided, I, I do, I have bought bundles before with a big brush, a blush, and, a, and, and an eye, something like that, and I really like them. Actually, the, the blush brush I use quite often, especially when you get those blushes that are a little more hard. Uh, those are so perfect, so... This time, I went ahead and ordered their eye set, their eye bundle. And it was one, two, three, four, five, six brushes. I'm showing them to you like this because they came individually wrapped with that little, nice little logo. You see they're made in Japan and so they have Japanese, uh, I guess they are numbers because there's a code. And so I didn't want to take them out to show them to you. <laughs> They're alive, they're alive. <laughs> so now I'm gonna take them off uh, so you to see. They're very nice uh, size. And uh, let's see, compared to a Sonia G. Um, yeah, so they're almost the same. They're all black, which is very nice, very neutral. And, uh, and they're a little thicker, so it's good for the grip. Um, so I think they look very elegant. They have their numbers for uh, which brushes each. And nowadays, because I remember when I started following them, they didn't have like so many options. Now I think when I went in, they had like tons of options for eyes, for face, for everything else. So um, everybody I hear from, they love the brushes. So check them out. And if you don't meet the 50% off this sale, they have sales all the time. And so just register on their, on their email and they send you when they are about to, to have them. Uh, so these are it, and these are for eyes. So we're gonna be trying them today. Look nice, eh? And I think like this one reminds me more of Wayne Goss, although they they are not less soft, but this seems to have more hair, it's more denser. And so in that feel, they feel like Sonia G, where you see, you have enough. And if they're, it seems like on dye hair, so that means you can use them for cream and powder. So this is awesome. I mean, I think the numbers are 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 29. So, oh, I think the bundle set is five, and then they were giving a, an extra one for free if you bought the bundle. I think that's where the 29 came and is this which actually I was very excited to get it. I'm still very excited because I find this one. So I only have another one, I think, from uh, Natasha Denona. And I found it so useful because you can really feel it like uh, uh, to make an eyeliner with shadows. So I have found this extremely useful. I'm very happy that they include it. And of course I have others, you know, like I have the Esum, which is also for that kind. I mean, look at the difference. 
right? I mean, major. Um, because with this, probably you will take forever to make if you really wanted to make a big line over here. But if you just want to emphasize certain areas, the, I, th I think it will be useful. I have this one from Sigma E21, which is also sort of for the same thing and it's very useful. I don't wanna make this about brushes and here I am, you know. I, I think I have an idea and I have planned and then look what happens. So I have also this one for Natasha the Nona number four. You see, they're all very into that um, sort of function, um, but they're slightly different. This is rounded, this is a little thicker, you know. And then this one is flat, but very small. This one is bigger, things like that. So I'm very happy I got it. I don't wanna show you all the ones that I have similar, but you, you get the idea. And I find it that, you, that I do need one in my collection. Maybe I don't need all the ones I have, but definitely one uh, or two, <laughs> or I'll pull. <laughs> Anyhow, so what I thought of doing today um, is because the holidays are starting, I mean, we're not in December yet, but we will be in like two or three days. And so, uh, you know, it's that time that you start bringing out the makeup that you have for the holidays. I mean, there's so many new makeup and I just saw it and there were the golds and, and the silvers and, you know, all of this very holiday-like. You saw the Chanel number no. five with all the sparkling and bright with the silver and the gold. And you know everybody with the toppers and things like that, but um, but then I thought I need to go and see what I have from previous years, at least from last year, because they're more or less the same colors, and I only wore them in that time. So uh, so I went back, and there's one in particular palette that I keep thinking of, and I wanted to bring it out for I guess through the year. And I just didn't, but now it's like a perfect timing. I want to use that palette. So, um, so that palette is Dior and it is the Lucky Stars 617. Now, I don't know if this one was a limited edition or not. If that, I apologize, uh, but maybe you have it. And if not, I'm sure you're gonna have something very, very similar. What I wanted to go with this is not only the palette, I just wanted to use something I had, uh, but I'm looking for the red lipsticks, you know, and I'm gonna do a video with different, many different red lipsticks. Uh, but today I just wanted to try one different because I'm gonna do one with Lisa Eldridge, obviously the ribbon, which is like perfect red Christmas. Uh, but I wanted to do something different in, in today's video using this palette. So let's just go with the, how the look will come. Uh, and in this palette, if you don't have it, that's okay. You probably have a gold and sparkly, a silver sparkly. And nowadays, you know, this is a little copper, more brown, and, and of course a dark brown. Um, at least in the Chanel kind of, uh, you know, Instagram and everything else, they're saying, or the suggestion is that you stay away from black and you go to bronze or copper, right? Uh, bronze, I think they call it. So very in the browns. Now, yeah, they can they can say that, and obviously that's what they're going for. You know, every brand has its look. Uh, I haven't seen Dior's, um, so I don't know what they come up with this year. But obviously, it, it, it is all over. We all know the colors of the Christmas is bright. Oh, well, the Chanel also came up with that number five, right? Um, did he have like, I didn't think he had like a black. Um, now I don't remember. It was all very light and then there was one stronger one. Maybe a black, but not like heavy duty black, more a faded. Uh, and anyhow, the Instagram stories right now in, <laughs> is go to bronze. So I was looking at, at some of that, but pulling out this palette, I just thought, oh my God, these are, you know, the usual colors. And if it's not Dior, any other palette you have with this, and I thought, I just wanna try it out. I just wanna put some gold in my in my eyelids and see where it goes. Now, what do I have on? For those of you that have uh, been with me, that are not new, and if you're new, welcome. Um, you know that I started to um, try Victoria Beckham serum and primer because it's cell rejuvenating. And uh, I did my my first review, my first impressions review of it. 
but it was not fair because I need to try it out at least for a month. So today I think it's the second day, not the third day, second, third. So I am put it, I did put it on. I still don't think I could just go ahead and, and go like that without makeup because it does uh, enhances a little bit my redness. Uh, so that part I don't like so much, but hey, I'm with the hope that my face will rejuvenate and all my wrinkles will fade away. Now, the two or three times that I have used it or wear it, I keep saying that it is mattifying, a little blurring, of course, it illuminates slightly. So if you have probably a tanner sort of skin look like, you know, medium, uh, uh, color to darker. I think you will love that illuminating part. At least it won't make you red like it does me. If you are lighter or tend to red, I think, I mean, if you're sensitive skin, I think it'll make you red. But um, the mattifying quality is great. And I think it blurs like the pores and things like that. Now I don't have big pores. So again, those, those two things that I think they are very good, <laughs> they're not really a needs for me or a problem for me. So we'll see how it does with the dry because I don't feel it very moisturizing, even though it's supposed to really work at that. So we'll give it a time. Um, I also have Lisa Eldridge foundation, only two pumps. <laughs> so I didn't want to put much, just put lightly to cover my redness, to put under my eyes and, um, and I love this foundation, so, so natural. Anywho, then I pull out, and I have talked about this, I have a review on this on another video. This is the NARS, and this is fairly new palette. And so I put a little bit of the brown bronzing, and I, as I showed in that video, I took it and just go like this, t -t 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 -t, on the two. I didn't use the highlight, the golden on the left. And I just, uh, just to give a little bit of color to my face because as you are aware, I don't like to greet you like all bare uh, skin. Like after my, my foundation uh, where I'm like white canvas, it's not even natural, I don't think. <laughs> I mean, if it was my natural bare face, maybe, but just to be like a ghost. <laughs> and so I just, applied it like I'm applying it now in front of the camera so you know what I do. And it's usually just to give it a little bit of shape, a little darkening around to frame and to uh, bring light to the center of my, give the impression that you have brighter in the center. So that's about it. Now, what had I thought of using for blush? I hadn't decided, hmm. Well, let's put a little bit of this too for now. I had thought of something, but I guess now. I I just want a little bit of color in my face and I'm using the same brush. This is the Sonia G um, Sculpt 2. And the interesting part about, uh, Sonia G has a bigger kind of fan sort of brush and I find myself reaching a lot more for this one, which is smaller uh, because it gives me more precision or, or more uh, opportunity to guide where I want it. Um, and interesting enough, because Sonia G did come with a new brush and it seems to be one of the big ones. I mean, big like that to be kind of framing and powder and all of that. So I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I got it. I just figure it's the newest and I wanted to feature it for you. It hasn't arrived yet, but um, I thought of the few things that I'm buying that are new, so I can uh, really showcase it with you all. All right, so I think that's a little blush, etc. Let's start with the features of today's video, which is the brushes and of course the look we're gonna do with the red lipstick. I still undecided which red. I have two options and we'll get to them. One is NARS, one is Chanel. We'll get to it at the end and you tell me what you think. But let's start with the eye and then we'll fill up the rest of my face. And this is pretty much how I do it because uh, I am really 
uh, going with emotions here with you. So this is my thought process. I'm gonna drink a sip of coffee. <laughs> so as you know, I usually, but this is, these are very shimmery. So usually I take the lightest color and put it all over. But in this case, I have to be careful because the lightest color is that white shimmery. So I don't think I'm gonna do that. So I'm going to take the gold, which is the center one, and I'm gonna put it all over my lid, starting from the center. Woo! Okay. So maybe this palette is in combination with a matte palette, and you can just do, use this as a pops of color. <laughs> or it's holidays. Na, 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 for Christmas. La, 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 la. All right, guys, I need to learn how to put music on these videos. Uh, but I hear that there's a lot of copyright situations, which is a shame because I'm sure we would enjoy the same or some of the same style of music. And so at least we can hear it together. All right. So the other thing I've been thinking of, you know, I keep hearing, you know, this one, I just put in the lid. I didn't get to the crease. This one, I brought it up just a tiny bit. Can you see? So it does get to my crease. Not sure what I prefer. I mean, because if there was a mixture of mattes and sparks, I can see why I can just want to put the, the pop of color um, and then use the matte on the top. But since the whole palette is shiny, we're gonna end up shiny. I'm not even sure the red lipstick will go. We'll change the plan if that's the case. So I use the Refer 15 all over. I guess I can use this also as a crease, but I just think it's a little thick for it. This is one of the reasons why I like the Wayne Goss much better. I'm mean, look at the difference in, in size. You see, this is so much thicker. And this Wayne Goss, I mean, not all Wayne Goss was this thin, but this one's uh, he recommended for hooded eyes. And so they are much smaller than the normal um, sort of, I guess Refer has this one, it's 14. This one is a little smaller, a little, at least, this is the Wayne Goss. At least, these two are the Wayne Goss. Yeah, I guess this compares. At least, um, it's pointy, right? So the pointy allows you to go in here and just stay there. Um, but we'll see because, all right. So I'm using the, the orangey, the copper. And now I'm gonna, ooh, that's so nice. Right, I'm bringing it to the crease and down. So really this is covering the outer of my lid. And so I think it's beautiful. I'm gonna bring it below. I really like these colors. I just don't know what to do with all the sparkles. But I think it's very lovely. And as I'm putting it on, I'm wondering how did this compare? Because you know, I love Charlotte Tilbury and Charlotte Tilbury uh, has a lot of this rose gold and then she went into coppers, uh, orange with shimmer. This one has more shimmer than the regular Charlotte Tilbury ones, but it reminds me a lot. Well, I'll tell you, I don't find a lot of fallout with the amount of sparkle that they have. I'm not seeing fallout, which is awesome. I am seeing the color pigment. Uh, so what this is creating, I think, is a little bit kind of a sunshine, sort of. I mean, my eyes are becoming very with that gold and orange. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I need to check if this, if this was limited addiction or not, because limited edition because I would hate for you guys to like this and then but again these colors are 
you should be able to find them anywhere. So I'm loving 14. This will work for me for everything. This is the kind of size that I need for my hooded eyes. Um, and obviously the first one I used, which was 15, uh, work for all over, right? When you wanna just put an all over color. So that's awesome, we have used two. Now, I'm gonna go with uh, 13. And let's see, I actually would have liked to, to be a little uh, more precise. Like I would need something like this in this moment. You see how it is flattened, but uh, I can direct more a line where it goes. I don't have anything like that on this five. I have this, let's try it. So I'm gonna use now the browner, this one, this one, because I use the orange. So I think these ones are the most matte, if there's a matte in here, and I'm just going to put it now in the lid. This one, I'm not looking to take it up, and I am bringing it across, just darkening the bottom and bringing this up. I think if I had put that before all the shimmers, uh, you could see the color more than it's not as shimmer. But I don't think I will um, swatch this for you because again, I'm not sure if that will be useful. I will make sure to check if if this is available and put it down below. How beautiful is that? Although I have to say, I did a video with Claire de Paul from last year's and some of you said that you were able to go and get it. So I'm sure you this will be available somewhere. Okay. I'm loving this quad. I guess that's what I remember, that it was such a good quad. Um, and that's why I wanted to bring it up again. All right. So I'm hoping you're liking this. I'm gonna use, hmm, I guess I'll use the 16. And I'm putting the white up here and the white up here just to finish the look, maybe bring in a little white here and a little white here, right? Look how beautiful. You could have put gold in there, but I brought the white. So last but not least, uh, so I am missing, I am missing from the refer set uh, a brush shadow like this, where I can actually line up a little bit more. I love that they have like, I don't understand what to use this one that is flat and not pointy. You saw that I, I put it for here kind of like that. And I, then I guess you can really buff it up, but I'm a little confused what to use this for. I mean, I guess it's used for like this. Don't know. If you know, let me know. So, and then they have another one, which is, this one comes in most sets and I guess it's for the same reason. So you can really kind of buff like that. I'm not a, a big one of this ones, of any of the sets that I have. Yeah, I use it, but I prefer the other one that I can direct a little more. And I think that has to do with the hoodedness of my eyes, um, that I need a little more precision than just toss it because look, I mean, what do you do there? The real stud is so small, and if you start missing too much, then it, I don't think it looks nice. Anywho, so last but not least, I will use another, um, remember, the refer brought with this, but I would take forever. I guess, no, I'm not gonna use that right now. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So uh, for my review for, um, for the refer set, I will definitely say I love the brushes. I think um, the brush quality is amazing, it's soft. Uh, it applies the product nice, but I would um, I would need a different different sort of 
type, like something like this even. If, you know, one or the two. I need one of those or one of those in the set. Something that I can direct a little more if I want to, to do an eye line or something. So, FYI, that's what I would say. As, as far as the quality of the brushes and is awesome. And especially when they give you such a good deals. Uh, yes, I, I, I wouldn't want to miss those offers, but uh, I guess I could always go back and buy the brushes individually, right? I mean, they have 50% off of all brushes. So I could go and do that, but I have the other one, so I'm not gonna do that, but just as a review of the brushes, right? All right, so, you know, I like to do this sort of line-ish just to elongate my eye a little bit. What do you guys think? So as for um, highlight, of course I have the NARS, but I thought this was gonna be too golden. Although, given how, what I do with my eyes, I think it might be perfect. Let me just, um, I was gonna use this Dior. Now I have like so many, I don't know. <laughs> See, this is a very gold-like, shimmery like that. Or this one that will bring it more warmer. No, I think I'm gonna use the Dior's. So this is the Backstage um, Glow Face Palette, and uh, this is Glitz, is number two. This one you can still get at Sephora, uh, and I, I do recommend this palette in particular. I have the one too, but the reason being is, and I'm, I'm doing both, um, because this one has like a little brown, peach, pinkish and then the gold and so it is very very versatile to many looks especially if you like like a peach blush or uh, you know it can really bring glow to any look and if I really wanted to I don't think I want to put glow in here I left that uh, a matte even though the NARS probably has a little bit of shine to it but not um, but not shimmer like this one. So I think I like how this is looking. Now, if I wanted to ramp it up a little bit, I have the Pat McGrath. This is, of course, it has the clear or it has the golden. So let me just put a little bit of the golden. And this one is cream, but um, it really makes your skin look nice and glowy. See? Yeah. All right. So we're done with that. Of course, I can go and put the... I'll be right back. I'm going to put mascara and uh, a little bit of uh, eyeliner. And I'll be back to try the red lips. All right. So I am back. I just put a little bit of eyeliner and a little bit of mascara. I used the Chanel um, Le Volume Revolution, the Chanel mascara. And now we're gonna do lips. Now I will use Bobbi Brown Red, just because I think this um, lip liner is perfect for any red. And just lining my lips a little bit. Even if I go with the darker red, I can always finish lip lining after with a different color if I need to. So I do go in quite a bit because that will make it long lasting, whatever I put. Not all the way in, but... So as you can tell, this is a very red, red lip liner. Um, I wonder if it's ribbon red from Lisa Aldrich, because to me that red is like the most neutral, perfect red. So I have here a couple of choices, actually two or three maybe. So this is NARS, this one is Cruella. And we're gonna put it right here. 
Corella, see, very nude. And then we have Chanel Temper. You see the tone is the same, but this one is more transparent like. And then I have here Mate Bad Blood from Urban Decay. Ooh, that one is interesting. This one and that one is interesting. Okay, two more. I have here the NARS uh, Mexican Rose. Oh no, no, I, my mistake. That one, that's this one. That one, I mean, it will look good with a lip liner, but Mexican Rose. <laughs> Mexican Rose. <laughs> I'm Mexican. Not like Rose, but uh, all right, so not that one. So then we have this Pat McGrath uh, Verbal Red. Hmm. Has a little bit of sparkle. I can see a little more metallic. Um, so no. So I'm in between this one and this one. What do you guys think? I'm back. I just needed to check Lisa Eldridge ribbon. This is ribbon, it has a little more red. So I want to use this one or this one. What do you guys think? So the NARS, which has a little more, mm hmm. No, I think I'm going to go with Urban Decay. Oh yeah, Mate Bad Blood. Let's go for it. All right. Oh, <laughs> that's red. So satisfying. Look at that. Oh, wow. I guess I've forgotten about the holidays and this red sort of beauties. Holy moly. What do you guys think? I think it's just gorgeous, amazing. I think I'm getting ready for the holidays. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, this is a look, guys. What do you guys think? Of course, what I was going for was a very red lips and sparkly golds, silvers, bronze, copper. So there you have it. Yeah? Ready? All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Please ring the bell on your right hand side of your screen and please comment below, request, suggest, let me know what you think and uh, I guess I'll see you next time. Bye.